Him's a good boy. Yes, him is. Yeah. He's a good boy. Oh, hey, everybody. Welcome to Motivated Living, where change is on the horizon. Bringing you something pretty cool today. Um, for everybody new, welcome. For everybody who's been here and are familiar with my antics, welcome back. Everybody else, put your seatbelt on. Uh, today, I'm going to be bringing you something pretty cool, actually. Something different. And, you know, I get into the spirit of Halloween. And uh, do your best to try to take me serious with my cat ears. You know. <laughs> uh, told my daughter I was going to. She didn't believe me. So, I'm going to wear this through the whole video. Uh, again, shaved head is cancer. Well, breast cancer, but Cancer Awareness Month. So, all y'all, show your support however you can. I was tagged to do a video to represent my city, I guess it was, or just where you live at. If I got it wrong, I apologize. But um, my city. And the person who tagged me, I asked him, I said, well, I don't know which one do I do. Do I do my home town or where I'm living at? He told me, do both. Brilliant idea, sir. So. That's what I'm going to be bringing you. I'm going to be bringing you a fragrance to represent two places where I currently live and where I grew up at. So, stay tuned. Welcome to Motivated Living. Change is on the horizon. Oh, you guys are back. You're ready, huh? All right, let's do this. This guy's a trash talker, man. You should hear the stuff he's saying. Hey. All right. <laughs> I'm a nut, but that's okay. I'm comfortable on my skin. So hopefully you get a laugh or two. Just keep your chins up. Smile, man. I've said it before. Find something to be happy. I don't care if it's looking at the goofball on the other side of the camera. I'll be that goofball. Hey, hey, hey. So, Mr. Trey Sense. I'm going to put a picture of him right there in his channel. And I'm going to drop a card in there. Go ahead and check him out. But wait until this is over for me. Cool. If you guys are subscribed, man, much love. I appreciate y'all, for real. Each and every one of you guys. Even, and if you aren't subscribed and you're watching, I appreciate you too. But here's your opportunity. Go down there. Hit that subscribe button for me. Show some support. Come on back. We can kick it. Uh, I do real talk. I'm, I don't claim to be an expert on all this stuff, on fragrances and whatnot. But I know what I like and what I don't like. A lot of times my daughter's right here. And you can tell by the look in her face if she should be like, mm, or she'll be like, you should show it, you know. <laughs> um, I don't get paid to do this, anything like that. Companies aren't sending me stuff to talk about it. I buy my stuff. And if I don't like it, I'm going to tell you. If I like it, I'm going to tell you. Most of them I do like because um, I do a lot of research before I buy. Some are blind buys and have let me down. Um, we could talk something up. Oh, man, I get this, 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 and this out of it. And then your skin type, and it may not work, you know. Uh, so I always recommend if you have a place where you can get a decant or a sample, or, you know, go to a Macy's and spray it on. You, know, you don't always have to buy it there, you know, unless you want to pay retail like that. That's on you. I shop at a certain place. I don't get paid to shop them out. Um, actually, the fragrances to my right, all but one of them came from that place. And you guys who are familiar with me know what I'm talking about. I may say their name at the end of the video. Uh, I think I've been flooding them because I've been talking them up so much that I, if I believe in something and they're about to write, I am going to talk about them. You know. <clears throat> so, moving on. My fragrance. I don't know why I'm hanging on to that thing. You know, I've been doing these videos for a little bit. But sometimes I still get a little fidgety and nervous as too. You know, like and I don't have a lot of time to do a bunch of homework and study. I'll put little notes off to the side, uh, you know, to read up certain things and recap. And then I give my own words. And so, without further ado. Closest city to me is Fort Wayne, Indiana. Pretty good size. You know, pretty large, actually. And it's it's hustle and bustle, diversified, a mix of everything. Um, big. And then we have a big, big city way down south, Indianapolis. I'm sure you guys know of that. Well, I live a little ways north from Fort Wayne. Small little town. Well, it's not some. I mean, it's a town. It's small. It has quite a bit of people, actually. And there's a lot of growth here. A lot. Uh, but it's small, it's kind of closed off, I guess you'd say. Uh, there's a lot of the, you know, I, I don't want to say cliques or groups, but that makes sense. Um, 
it's uh, rather guarded, I guess. I don't know. But it's a good place. A lot of good-hearted people, a lot of good people, a lot of good. Uh, of course, anywhere you go, you have your good and your not good. But I'm about bringing out the positive, focus on the positive. So I'm not going to talk about the not-so-good stuff. Um, a lot of growth here. It's grown quite a bit over the years. But there's a draw to this place where... Once you know it, you want to be around it, I guess. Um, it's peaceful, it's quiet for the most part. Warm and inviting, I guess you could say. You know, it's uh, here is town, but everywhere around us are like the country back roads. Like if you ever look at my motorcycle ride and talk videos around here, you'll see, you know, I, you know, I could say there's more corn in Indiana, which I do say in my videos, but there's a lot of fields and flatlands and uh, good riding roads, actually. And I love riding motorcycles. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's people move and for some reason tend to come back a lot here. Uh, I first came here in 99. Since then, you know, I've moved uh, to Chicago, back to Ohio. I moved, you know, wherever I may have been, I, it brings me back. And I moved here from Cincinnati back then because my family moved from Arizona. But I'm going off topic because I do that. But if I've left, I've come back. You know, I've lived in Fort Wayne, but I've come back to this little town. Uh, it's almost like there's something magical to it. And a lot of people talk cra trash about it, just like the fragrance I'm about to bring you. You know, it's not a favorite to everybody. Uh, it doesn't always perform the best in some people's books, I guess you'd say. But it has a lot of love, too. And without further ado... Because I don't want to make this last an hour for you guys. I know your time is valuable too. So bear with me. Meat and potatoes. Uh, East Saint Laurent. Le Nuit de Lune. It's what I'm picking for Indiana. Uh, it came out in 2009. It's one of them ones. This is my backup bottle. I just bought. Because I, I like it a lot. You know. A lot. And uh, my one that's in my cabinet. It has about that much juice in it. And I didn't want to run out. You know. So I wear it a lot. It's one of my, my wife's favorites on me. For me, it's a compliment getter. Um, a lot of issues with that is the longevity of it. It doesn't last a long time. Um, so you have to respray, re which I like to respray anyway, because I wear these things for me. I like to smell them. So if I don't like them, I don't care what the next person says, I'm not wearing it. You know, oh, that smells good. I'm mean, good. You can take it. <laughs> um, it's therapeutic for me. Personally, fragrances, you know, that's how I got into it, you know, coming from liking stuff I shouldn't have. Now I like something that's it's healthy for me. It hurts your wallet a little, but, you know, <laughs> um, it's warm and inviting. Kind of like this little town. That's why I picked it. Um, it has a draw to it, a certain maybe nostalgia, for lack of better words. It wants, it, it makes you want to come in closer. And like the date night fragrance. You know, I wear this, my wife gets all up on me. Mm, apple pie. She calls this apple pie. That's how she refers to it. I, I don't know if that's what she refers to it. Does it smell like apple pie to me? No, but it smells doggone good. I like it a lot. Um, again, it came out in 2009. The notes on it, which is weird because I went to the A. Saint Laurent website and got something a little different. But not different, but not like a different note. But it says cardamom and... Cardamom and bergamot are your top notes. And then when you go to your heart notes, you got lavender and cedarwood. I'm going to fire a spray over there. Let's see, let's see what she does, the atomizer. Base is amber, coumarin, and vetiver. Now, that smells so doggone good. A lot of people tell you the opposite. They'll say, meh. You know, it doesn't always get love. Reminds me of where I'm living. People are like, meh, mm -hmm. and I ain't even going to stop through there, you know. <laughs> Whatever. It's a small little area, but it's grown a lot. There's a lot of growth, a lot of potential here. Uh, a lot of warmth, a lot of closeness. Granted, I'm a closed off kind of person anymore. Like if, when I was 21 and I first moved here and was hitting all the night spots that were around, then I probably would say ultra male represents this place. But now that I've calmed down a little and I know the calmer side, um, 
that would be this. This isn't loud. It's not offensive. Uh, it's really not in your face. It's not in your face. That's how this town is, you know. Um, this fragrance, you have to sometimes go out of your way to find it, I guess you'd say, to smell it. Kind of like drama here. You have to go out of your way to find it. It's quiet like that. Um, now, you say, well, on, on their site, they put on their top note lemon, and it said cedarwood and cardamom. It says this is available in a 1.3, a 2.0, a 3.3, which is what I have, and the coveted 6.7 ounce. But one, there's another reviewer, he throws it around. This is my last one before reformulation. And if I dropped this, my life would be over. I don't know if you know who I'm talking about. I won't say his name. But uh, they, that big bottle. And someone I'm talking to, a friend of mine, who also has a great channel, and I'm gonna put a picture of him up here and a place for his channel. But Ricky, the civilized redneck, shout out to you, bud. He's like me, he wants that big old bottle too. And it's that good, it's worth it. If you can find it, grab it. And that's it on that one, because again, I don't wanna take all day. I'm gonna set her over here with my guard dog. There, hold that. <laughs> you see, we get into the Halloween spirit around here. Um, it's fun, we have a lot of fun, period. And this is actually my daughter. She's a Scorpio. But she let me bring it out here to fidget with while I'm talking. <laughs> now, my next scent. I'm from Cleveland. Cleveland, Ohio. Town of the underdogs. City of the underdog. Um, not too often you hear people say they won. We won. But the fans are usually pretty diehard. I haven't lived there in a long time. I still go for my Browns. I still go for my Indians. The Cavs. And the Buckeyes. Don't be knocking it. Don't be hating. Um, we have LeBron James. People title him King James. Damn good ball player. There's a lot of controversy as to who the king is, the top dog. In my opinion, he's happily retired, enjoying his life. And I think his numbers are still untouchable. I still say he was the greatest. You know who I'm talking about? Number 23, MJ. So, nothing against you, LeBron, if you're watching. I still love you, man. You're a beast. I, I couldn't play half that good. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to leave that one alone. Still, I'm not knocking him. Amazing ball player. Skills that are just... But, you know, I'm getting off the beaten path there. So, but if MJ was in Cleveland... I would have went with this guy. And this is a decan. This ain't what the bottle, if you go and buy the full full uh, retail bottle of Creed Aventus. That's the only one I have. Balling on a budget. This is a decan. It was a 30 ml. Uh, I let a friend get a 10 ml of it. And then I used the rest. But um, this fragrance has been called the king by many people. Just like they call the wine the king. But a lot of people look at MJ's the king. That's not the fragrance I'm doing today. But the reason why I'm doing it is because of... People can argue back and forth all day long about these two fragrances and then about these two ball players I mentioned. And with the one being from Cleveland, it just felt like... I don't know. It felt like the right way, way to bring it for my city. So, um, it's damn good what I'm bringing. But a lot of people tell you it's not the best. You know, but I also hear that about this. A lot of people argue back and forth about the, the whole Venice stuff. And another another great reviewer just made mention of that. Uh, and great, great guy. Uh, also, I recommend, I'm going to put him up there. You can go to his channel too, Mr. Cheap Sense. Check him out. But we, we don't have time for all that. I know I don't. And just like he said, I don't have time for that nonsense. You know, I'm here to talk about smelling good. I'm not here to argue or get anybody hurt in the butt. Um, you know. I don't want to make enemies dissing fragrances or not. I'll tell you if I like it or if I don't. I do like the Aventus. Do I like it enough to go spend full price on it? Heck, you know. Mm -mm, I don't. I wasn't as impressed as a lot of people were. And I've let it, you know, I've wore it. I've wore it. It's grown on me more, but I'm still not running to go buy a full bottle. You know, I'd rather go buy some designers, you know, have a few to add to my arsenal instead of one. But that's just me. And will I down the road? Well, yeah, you know, uh, nice. 
amount of money fell in my lap, yeah, I'd, you bet your sweet behind. I'd go buy the bottle. But when I'm, I'm making a dollar out of 50 cents like that, or a dime and a nickel, you know, however, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to, that's not my main focus to go buy. But now I'm off the beaten path again. And I'm sure some of y'all already know what I'm about to bring, what I'm about to say. Um, but talking about Cleveland anymore. So it said there was a, was it 52 year curse since the town, a city had won championship. Now the Indians, they got to the world series. They didn't win. It was against the Cubs, but in my book, they did. I mean, anybody who followed that series, who's baseball fans, both teams played their heart out. Both of them. Every single game. It wasn't like a sweep. Every game. Boom. So I'm watching that last game. Are you, will you be mad if Cleveland loses? I said, honestly, no. They gave me a hell of a uh, series, man. Both teams played 100%. Balls to the wall. So whoever would have won it, I was saying, they deserve it. Cubs won. In my opinion, there was no losers, though. In my opinion. They gave 100%. People played. Played. So, 2016, Cavaliers won. That's my little scorpion. <laughs> they actually won the NBA playoffs. So, backstory for you a little on that. Was the first team, let me see if I'm going to say it right. They were playing Golden State. The first comeback after trailing three games to one. And then that was our first major sports title since um, 1964. Um, it was said we had a curse. And the Super Bowls didn't come to play. Was it 67? And in 65, the Cleveland Browns beat the... Buffalo Ravens, it was like, uh, or Buffalo Ravens, what am I, I'm sorry, I'm tired, as always, um, Baltimore Colts, there wasn't any Ravens around back then, I need to probably cut that out, but I'm not gonna, <laughs> uh, I think it was like 27 to nothing, so, not really known to win, win-win, but when we play, we play hard, it's a good thing about that town, and there's a lot of loyalty, a lot of unity there, um, big things, like since the last time I've, I've been there, so many things have come up and it's cleaned up. Uh, a lot of big attractions to see if you go there from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum. And, uh, I, I don't like to spend a bunch of time with that. And there's a lot of nice things you can go do there. I, I used to like the art museum myself and I don't ever really talk about it on my channel, but being an artist, I mean, I was a tattooist. I like to paint, I like to draw. Um, without further ado, because I don't want this to be taken all night for you. Tell about a box. This presentation. I wanted to bring that out. Because, man, I was impressed when I opened it up. This is like a 20th of the price of the Aventus. But, uh, Sterling Parfums Arm Off. Club de Nuit Intense, man. Or, in the fragrance groups, C-D-N-I-M. It's abbreviated. You know, you'll see a lot of abbreviations. And, for y'all who don't know, you know, get on Facebook. Go to the T-L-T-G Reviews Fragrance Lounge. I shout them out in a lot of my videos if you watch. Uh, just there's so much love and unity there. Just a great group of people uh, from the top to the bottom. And a great mix. Um, just united by our love for fragrances. And it's a peaceful group. It's a safe group. Uh, I buy from somebody on there in a heartbeat without a care in the world. And that's just how it should be. No drama, no nonsense. So yeah, check them out. So if you ever wonder why you're watching one, man, why is he always talking about that TLTG stuff? And the people behind it are awesome too. Uh, another channel you could check his, the, follow that name and go check out Ross at TLTG Reviews. Does a great job and hell of a guy. So I was impressed when I saw the box. And then, of course, the bottle. I was like, holy cow. And this thing weighs like, man. I'm going to work out. Hold on. It, uh, Really well made, and for I paid twenty seven or twenty eight dollars. This was my backup bottle, by the way. So it's brand new. I, I fired one off um, to see if there was any difference between the two. And then a friend of mine came last weekend, and he had a, a Ventus type clone that didn't perform very very well. It smelled good, but so check this one out, and it went home with him. So 
I broke out my new one. But yeah, I'm impressed. Heavy duty cap. Pick it up. There's a lot of hate about this. There's a lot of controversy, like I was saying, between the two. This is why I picked this one. You know, and I did the whole Michael Jordan, LeBron James thing, Creed Aventus, Club de Nui. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of back and forth. To me, I didn't really smell the difference. Um, this lasted longer on my skin. It got me more compliments. My wife likes it more, right, right out the gate. But it smells the same to me. I don't know. There's just something about it. Uh, I wouldn't overspray it. I still smell my uh, apple pie that I sprayed a second ago. Uh, if I can see the doggone thing, this lighting's all in my eyes. But the uh, atomizer's decent. Good little burst, you know. Last time I did that out here, when I opened it up the first time, I smelt it out here like five, six, seven hours later. And there was another fragrance that was just like that too, and it was that Prada Lome Intense that another subscriber, which I really appreciate you turning me on to that. I did that out here, and I came out way after, towards the end of the day, about six, seven hours, I let the dog back out. And uh, I was like, man, I still, the whole garage, because I film in my garage, so whatever. I'm, this is my man cave. This is where it goes down. Uh, good fragrance, very good fragrance. Uh, a lot of people say it's not the best, but in some areas it is. Kind of like Cleveland. Our teams may not be the best, but in some areas they are. We win every now and again. <laughs> So, I don't know. I hope I did this right for y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you think I could have done it a little better, or if there's something you want to see on my channel, I always encourage you guys, put it in the comments. Tell me how I'm doing. Because you guys are, I'm bringing it for y'all. That's why I'm doing this. And I do it for me sometimes, too, because it's, it's therapeutic. It's fun. I'm growing. Um, my goal is to get comfortable enough. See, I still fidget a lot. You know, I'm not, I'm not pro at any of this stuff. But uh, my ultimate goal is to... You know, he got like Tony Robbins and um, back on another person I really like, uh, Les Brown. They get on there and they motivate millions. You know, they, they help people with what their speech. They get up there, they, they have talks. And I'd like to get up there and do that one day. You know, I don't want to say one day. One day I will. I'm not going to say I want or, I'm, you know, I will. But this is helping me. It's a stepping stone here. And that's why if you look through my channel, there's stuff, there's like positive talks. I'm trying to just, if I can reach one person with something, help somebody, help you smile. I could do something stilly or, you know, where you laugh. That makes a good day for me. You know, I'm trying to build good deeds for, you know, just good deeds bring good deeds, you know. And, and I'm all about doing the right thing and doing good. You know, treating people right. We all should. But yeah, that's my ultimate goal is, and I'd like to really start with troubled youth. Help the kids who really have nowhere to go, no help. Because I was that, like lack of better word as well, a-hole. Um, yeah, no way people didn't care. They, they would want to medicate you and forget about you sometimes. And sometimes it helps them. I don't know. But I'd like to give them a positive way and bring something to them that could help to where they don't have to go down the path of destruction and learn the hard way. Which, granted, experience for some of us uh, is the only way we learn. You know, I remember as a kid, go ahead, pull that TV on your head. You'll learn. You won't do it again. Keep pulling on that TV. <laughs> you know, uh, they, uh, so, but that that's my ultimate goal, what I'd like to do with, what I will do with my life. You know, give back to others, not be about taking. How, how Kennedy said, it, it's not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. So, and that's just part of being a good human. But now I'm rambling. If you made it this far, holy cow, pat yourself on the back. I appreciate it. I thank you for tuning in. I uh, I hope you like all my my decor here and there. That's just for Halloween. I'll switch it up, <laughs> and uh, you know all my little trinkets. Uh, I'm really I'm really a pretty bright, vibrant guy. I'm not dark, you know. Where there's skulls all in the house, which I don't knock you if that's you, because you know, it's actually some cool stuff. <laughs> you know, they're fun. My daughter, this is one of her toys. Believe it or not, this was too, so she played dentist and yanked all his canines out, <laughs> but. Now he's out here hanging out. Good boy, too. Didn't make a sound or nothing. So, thanks for tuning in. Motivated living. Changes on the horizon, man. Life's what you make it. Don't focus on the negative. Focus on the good. Be happy. Life's too short, man. Just smile. Just sometimes it's okay to just... Just breathe. Just breathe. That's why I like fragrances, because I'm often like, just breathe. So, when you take that deep breath, like, mmm. <laughs> 
Thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate y'all. For real. I really do. Y'all have a good day. Be blessed. Peace. Motivated Living. Changes on the horizon.